Mahjong hapon sa tanan. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Good afternoon everybody. This is Lewis and I'm here to talk with you about the application and checklist and beginning process for the 13A visa in the Philippines, the so-called marriage visa. I'm going through this process now and I want to post some videos and information to help you and show you what the process is, what the requirements are, and what the fees are. So you can see I have laid out in front of you on the camera the checklist form, BI form V like Victor, I like India 002 revision 0, the conversion to non-quota immigrant visa by marriage probationary. The first year is probationary. Then after that you go back into immigration and then it's converted to the, uh, the permanent visa, the permanent residence visa. So you have here a long list of instructions. They're very self-explanatory how to fill out things and what you have to do and, and um, what you'll have to supply. And I'm gonna, that's what I want to talk about is what you're required to submit. Okay. So I'm going to move down here a little bit. Okay, and you can see here in the center section where it says checklist of documentary requirements for conversion to non-quota immigrant visa by marriage probationary. So, your wife and yourself have to write a joint letter and you make it out to the Commissioner of Immigration and it's a letter uh, from both of you, but it's your wife petitioning you uh, to be able to be a permanent resident in the Philippines. You'll have to supply two copies of that letter to immigration. You'll also need the completed application form, which I'm going to show you next what the form looks like, you're going to need to supply three copies of that to immigration. You'll need a copy of your marriage certificate or marriage contract and I have another video I've done if you haven't watched it about PSA and NSO. The NSO doesn't exist anymore. The document has to be from the PSA so if your marriage certificate has been issued earlier in years past from NSO you're going to have to go to PSA and get another copy. You'll have to supply one copy of that to immigration. Also, the birth certificate of your wife. Now, if, you're, if your wife already has her birth certificate, or if you're not married yet, your fiancé, your girlfriend already has one, and it's from NSO, same situation. You're going to have to go to PSA, and she's going to have to get a PSA birth certificate with the PSA logo. If you come in there with the NSO birth certificate with the NSO logo, immigration will not accept it. Um, you're going to have to bring one copy of her birth certificate. You'll need three photocopies of your passport biodata page. That's the page with your face on it. It's got the issue date, the expiration date, all that kind of thing. And three photocopies of the page that shows your latest entry with any extensions you might have. You're going to need your NBI clearance. I talked about that in another video. And for that NBI clearance, you will have to supply one copy. Now, you cannot avail of that same day. It does take time because it's going to have to come from Manila. Please check out the other video on that. Um, you will not need the BI clearance certificate. And you will not need the uh, Bureau of Quarantine Medical Clearance either. Okay? So next, I'm going to show you the application, how that looks. A couple more requirements. You're also going to have to supply three pieces of 2x2 two two photos, and you're going to have to supply three pieces of what they call a long folder, like a legal size folder. If you're here in the Philippines, you can go to any school supply store. Uh, they're all over the place where the kids buy their stuff for school. Uh, they probably have them in like National Bookstore also if you're in the cities, but uh, pretty easy to find. You have to supply those for the filing and the paperwork, what they'll do at immigration with your documents. So next I'm going to show you the application and just explain a little bit of preliminary information for that. Okay, so here you can see the application BI form CGAF001 Revision 2. This is the Consolidated General Application Form for Immigrant Visa couple of important things on the first few lines. Make sure in line one, present immigration status, put that you're a tourist, if you are a tourist. 
In the nature of application box, conversion, check that off. Type of visa application, make sure you put 13A probationary visa because you're applying for that first year probationary visa. And then the method of application, uh, personal, there's a box for authorized representative, but if you're in good health and you don't, you know, you're not here like convalesced or in a hospital or anything like that, you can appear yourself. You're doing this as a personal application. Um, you don't need an attorney. This is a very easy process. And uh, make sure and stay away from fixers. Avoid them like the plague, because whenever you deal with these people, they're scammers and you're just looking to get robbed. Now, there's more information to fill out in the form. I'll detail that more in another video. And I'm going to show you just briefly, I'll slide this up here. It looks like a lot, but don't be intimidated. It's very simple. It's very straightforward information. I'll flip to the back, excuse me. Okay, and here's the back of the application. Also has other, you know, several. It looks like it's a lot, but it's really not. It's not difficult at all. Okay. So that's it for now. Thank you everybody for joining us. If you have any questions I could try to answer you, uh, answer you on, please put them in the comment section below or if you have any helpful information to relate, please like and subscribe and look out for future videos because I'm going to detail this whole process as I go through it and make sure that you're up to date on the process, the requirements and the fees. And while you're here, check out the other videos on our channel. We just live a very simple, humble life here on the island of Leyte. We love it. It's a beautiful place. And um, hopefully you'll like the other videos. So thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.